Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tim from Arm Wrestling Secrets. We're here in the personal training studio today. Today we're gonna to be working on hand strength. How to strengthen your hands with weight plates. Okay, today guys, as I mentioned, we're gonna be working with just traditional old metal 45 pound plates. Okay, that's what I'm gonna be using. You can use the plate that's uh, pr the, your preference in terms of uh, what weight you think you should use. Um, and then I'm also gonna be using, um, we're gonna be using two 45 pound plates and we're also gonna be using a 10 pound bumper plate. So this plate looks pretty big, but it's not particularly heavy. So stick around, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these things. Okay guys, let's get on with the exercises here. Okay, so remember that your hand strength is one of the most important things in arm wrestling, okay? If you don't have any hand strength, what's your connection point in arm wrestling? Where are you connected to the opponent? It's at the hand, okay? Your hand strength will give you a lot more control. The grip strength is going to be able to allow you to do a lot better with your movements without losing your grip, okay? So hand strength is extremely neglected in the gym. It's not really sexy. It doesn't build your chest up. It doesn't build your shoulders. It doesn't build anything that anyone's really going to comment on. So a lot of arm wrestlers, even arm wrestlers, they skip one of the most important things, which is hand and grip training. And that's exactly what we're going to start on. Okay. So, um, we're going to be using regular weight plates. Like I said, um, in my case today, I'm just going to use a couple of 45 pound Olympic plates. They have a ledge on there that you can hold on to. So if the plates that you're using in the gym don't have anything to hold on to, the plate might not work for you. But in my case, I'll show you what works and I'll show you some of the exercises that, that uh, work for me. So let's work on exercise number one right now and then I'll kind of cut them all together. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of chalk. I suggest that for yourself too. Once your grip gets kind of sweaty, the exercise, your performance in the exercise really decreases just because you can't hold on to the weight, okay? So I'm gonna put a little chalk on here and then we're gonna get right on into exercise number one and then I'll clip this video together for you, okay? Okay, we got some chalk on the hands there so we're not gonna lose our grip. And let's get on to exercise number one. I don't have any particular names for these exercises. I just kind of been coming up with them over the years, but they work fantastic for hand and grip strength, okay, and different parts of your hand. So let's work on exercise number one and then we'll roll right on through. Okay, here's number one. Okay, and you can see me. I got the camera down pretty low so you can see what my hands are doing. So you won't see me, but you'll hear me talking. So here we go. Okay, exercise number one. Now watch my hand position here. Okay, so you notice my hands are completely connected. I've got my thumbs on the inside. My fingers are on the outside and I'm gonna hold. Exercise number one, isometric hold for as long as you can and you're not gonna allow any space to develop here. You're keeping this as tight and close as you can This is 45 pounds. I'm not walking. The farmer's walk is not necessary. You don't need to move with these. I'm just holding in place. This is the easiest thing I can do. I'm just gonna hold in place for as long as I comfortably can, holding this as tight as I can. I feel the fifth finger, my fingertips working, my thumbs are working hard. This is really working on my grip. I'm not gonna make you guys wait for the whole endurance exercise here. I'm just gonna put these down and we'll move right, right on to exercise number two. Okay, so exercise number two, this is active motion, same position of the exercise, okay? So watch my hand position and then we're gonna get active with this. So watch this, okay, here we go. Okay, position of my hands, watch. Same position as we were just in. Okay, same position, same grip. Thumb is on the outside. Okay, now what we're gonna do is active. I'm gonna let go of my thumb. I'm gonna let the fingers stretch as far as they can. Then I'm gonna pull them back up to where they were, one. Two, they don't, need, they don't need to be done fast. Kind of under control is good, okay? Control, stop at the top. Stop. 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 And do as many of those as you can. Let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, so moving on, exercise number three is right back to another isometric hold. Now watch, the grip is gonna change here a little bit. Uh, same weights different exercise. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Okay. So the grip is changing. Watch my hand position. Okay. We were, we were here. The thumbs were on the outside. Okay. Now that's going to change. The thumbs are now going on top of the weight. Much different exercise. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Thumbs are on top. Much harder. We got no grip on that side. Okay. 
I'm holding tight though, I'm tight. There's no space there, I'm tight. Isometric hold just means I'm gonna hold as long as I can. My thumbs are out. I'm holding tight to the weight. Okay, for as long as I comfortably can until I have to put them down. Let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, everybody, exercise number four. Okay, so this is the same position we were just in, thumbs on top of the weight, and then we're gonna go active again. So now we're gonna be doing that crunch again with the fingers. Here we go, check it out. Okay, same thumb position as we were just in, thumbs are on top. Okay, thumbs on top, now extend down, bring the thumb to the top, stop. Extend down, thumbs to the top, stop. Stop, stop. And just like the other ones, you're doing as many of those as you can in a row until you have to stop. Okay, you guys, exercise number five. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this one with one weight at a time. Um, this is a hold, isometric hold with a rotation. Okay, so this is gonna add a little rotation uh, movement to the exercise. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you this with one weight. I'm gonna put one down here. Okay, so one way here we're gonna, I'm just gonna use my uh, right hand and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. We're gonna do alternating on, on, on both sides when you're doing it by yourself, obviously. So check this out, okay. Okay, so same hand position as we started with. Okay, so I'm tight here. Okay, tight there and then I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna make a little space with my body. So I'm gonna kind of have this in the middle of my body. I'm standing, I'm rotating all the way over all the way back, never losing your grip. It'll be a little bit different in terms of challenge. You'll feel your fingers, you'll feel different parts of your fingers working as you're going. It's a little bit different than what we started with. Turn, turn, or once again, there's no space being created between me and the weight. I'm holding this like iron. You're gonna do that as many times as you can. And then you're gonna switch sides. Okay, everybody, the last exercise I was gonna show you today with weight plates was gonna be with a uh, 10 pound bumper plate, okay? And the reason I like this is it's gonna be a different strength. The ones we were working on with the 45s was working on more of a closing strength, gripping strength, crushing strength, all the different things that go into your, into your grip, okay? Kind of in that, in that type of motion there, closing strength, okay? Now this is going to be for what I call shelf strength, hand shelf strength, okay? And what that means is we're working this strength, your ability to maintain your fingers in this position. Now, keep in mind in arm wrestling, this is your containment strength, okay? When someone's trying to rip, pull your hand open, rip, rip through your fingers, like a top roll type of exercise, your ability to hold them, contain their strength, is usually predicated upon your strength here. If you're weak here and you're strong everywhere else, Someone's gonna rip through your fingers and if they take out your fingers, they're gonna take out your hand. When they take out your hand, they're gonna take out your arm, okay? So this is a prone, uh, area that's really prone to attack if you're not strong there. So this exercise targets that and I'll show you what I like about it. Okay, so uh, with this exercise, we're gonna use, like I said, the 10 pound bumper plate and you can use whatever weight feels good to you. I like it because it's flat and um, it's actually kind of a long plate. It's as big as a 45 pound plate. So it's got, it makes the leverage on the hand pretty tough, but the weight's not really heavy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take a grip. I'm gonna, I, I need my thumb here. Okay, and then I'm going to, since we're working on this strength position, we're gonna be doing it upside down, but we're still working in that position. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so we're gonna be here and we're going to turn into a hook. I'm just gonna stand so you can see me here. One arm at a time, turn. You see my hand there? Okay, I'm standing straight up, turn. We're stopping at the top, so it's kind of like a hook, but the weight's against my fingers, okay? The, I feel it mostly in my fingers there, okay? So we're here, turn, turn. It's harder than it looks too, turn. Turn. And then you'll do the exact same thing on the other side. You'll take that same position, okay? And then you'll come in, get your, get your hands out of the way, get your legs out of the way, and then you're gonna turn. And you're gonna hook in, trying to build that 
shelf strength in your hands. I hope this helped you guys today. We're gonna to be working on a lot more exercises in the future. Those are a few good exercises that I really like to do with weight plates for the hands. I'll see you guys in the next one.